none of the ancient civilizations, uh, Babylonians, Romans, Egyptians, and Greeks, had a symbol for zero. And in general, they found calculations to be very difficult and cumbersome. Uh, the current system used by almost all people of the civilized world originated in India by Hindus, uh, specifically in between 1st and 4th century. Uh, this system was designed by Indian mathematicians. By the 9th century, this system was adapted by Islamic mathematicians, uh, who later introduced this system into Europe. And that's why even though this system is Hindu, uh, Hindi numeral system, Europeans started calling this system as Arabic numeral system because this system was uh, introduced to them by Arabs. In this system, every digit of numeral represents a quantity ranging from nothing to nine, nothing, which is actually zero. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I'm gonna show you. So as I said, every digit in the system represents a quantity ranging from zero to nine, right? So we have all these numbers here, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So this thing here is, Arabs used to call this thing empty. Uh, we also call this thing cipher. So these digits are used to denote any number that's out there, any big or small number. So how do you how are you gonna represent number that's actually greater than nine? So let's take a number. Um, seven zero eight zero six five. So let's take this number here, right? How are you gonna represent this number in the Hindu Arabic numeral system or the current numeral system? Um, so what, what happens in the system is we have these places, okay? So we have the ones place, which is first actually we, in, in this system, we traverse from uh, right to left. So in this direction, we go from right to left. And the rightmost digit is actually the ones place. Okay, so this is called ones place. This guy here is called tens place. This guy here is called hundreds place. This guy here is thousands place. Okay, so as you can see, we're just incrementing this by 10, right? Increment this thousand by 10, and you're gonna get Ten thousands place, okay. Ten thousands. This guy here increment this by ten. You're gonna get hundred thousand, okay. So this guy hundred thousand. As you can see, uh, the the way Indian mathematicians designed the system, uh, the digit to the left is actually ten times more than the digit digit to the right. Uh, so one more way of looking at this is actually you can write this as I'm gonna change the color here. Uh, as, you, as you can see, we have five ones, right? As you can see, we have five ones because there are five. Uh, there's, there's a digit five at once place, so that's why we are saying five ones. And we have six tenths, right? As you can see we have a digit six on tenths place that's why we have six tenths we have no hundreds because there is a zero or a cipher there so no hundreds we have eight thousand right because we have eight digit on the thousands place we have no uh ten thousand right because we have a zero in the ten thousands place. So no ten thousand, okay. Then we have seven hundred thousand, hundred, I'm gonna write this good, hundred thousands. Okay, so as you can see, we have five ones, we have six tenths, no hundreds, eight thousands, no ten thousands, because we have a zero there, and then we have the last digit, which is seven hundred thousands. So how are you gonna how are you gonna write this 
uh, numeral into words okay how are you gonna do that it's pretty simple you're just gonna have you're gonna write this as seven hundred eight thousand oops seven hundred eight thousand uh, 65 and I'm going to show you how 65 so this that's how you can write this number in words because we have if you take the calculator out you can see we have 700,000 plus 8,000 plus 6 times 10 plus 5 times 1 and the value we're going to get is actually this 708065 and how are you gonna write that? Yes, 708, which is this guy, 708. And this is at the thousands place, 708,000. And then we have the 65. So, so that's the uh, the numeral in words. So that's pretty much it, guys, as far as the Hindu Arabic numeral system is concerned. Uh, we learned about the place values and how to write a large number in words. So yeah, I'm gonna see you in the next one.